the secret that gas companies don't tell you. I never spent any more on cooking gas after I discovered this. My stove now only runs on water. To do this in your home, you'll need a gallon of the kind I'm using here. And in its lid you'll drill two holes. The first hole needs to be the size of a bicycle cam pin. So that we can pass it through the hole made in such a way that it fits snugly, like this. And the second hole needs to be a bit bigger so that we can fit a damper valve through it in such a way that it's as tight as the chamber pin. Then put the gallon lid on and finish off the two entrances to the lid with hot glue, or any other type of sealant you prefer, making sure that it's very well sealed. Here I'm using hot glue as you can see. It is very important to remember that we do not recommend this tip to minors or children. We ask all adults to take great care when repeating this in their homes, and to do so in the same way as in the video. As I said, it's very simple, but requires a lot of attention. Then you will do the following. With a level hose, measure at least 20 centimeters and cut it off. Fit one end of the hose to the damper valve and place the other end inside another bottle. I recommend a 600 to 800 milliliters bottle. We'll use two of these bottles. You will repeat the same process on both. The difference between one and the other is that one will contain a small amount of gasoline. And the other will only contain water, tap water, that's right. One end of one of the hoses should reach the bottom of the bottles. You will also drill two holes in the tops of these bottles. Two holes the size of the level hose. In one of the holes will go the end of the hose that should reach the bottom of the bottle. And in the other hole will go another length of leveling hose, which will only carry the pressure and gas from the bottles and gallon to the stove. Don't forget to seal these holes in the bottles as well. It's very important that no pressure leaks out of them. In the gallon where the valve and the bicycle tube pin are, we'll fit a bicycle tire pump onto the pin and fill the gallon with air so that it has plenty of pressure. It is important that you leave the valve damper closed at this point. Then remove the tire inflator and slowly open the valve. When you have done this, you already have gas in your stove system. Just turn on your stove and you'll see that it's already working like the ordinary cooking gas we buy. This is a tip that older people used to know, and I've decided to share it with you if you want to save money in your home. If you didn't know this tip, tell me below, water-powered stove. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.